Yesterday, GTA Online turned 7 years old and has without a doubt gone the lengths neither fans, haters or Rockstar themselves ever expected. The game continues to grow and has become the most successful game Rockstar has ever produced. Hell, it's even still beating sales records till this day. And while the argument can be made that GTA Online's longevity is both a blessing and a curse, there are still thousands of people who were still playing the game on a daily basis, hold the game in a special place or are just generally fans of the game. So obviously, when an anniversary comes around, fans are expecting Rockstar to acknowledge this and also do a special event week as a way to show appreciation for the continued support of said most successful game they ever had. Nope. Rockstar decided to give everyone the finger by simply ignoring the fact that the game turned 7 years old. No event, no gifts, and not even a single mention of the game's anniversary. Meanwhile, we're getting the same vehicles we've had on sale for the last 6 weeks and double cash on Diamond Casino Adversary Modes. Fuck off! Now, I should mention, to me, it's not about money at all. To me, it's more about hosting an event where people feel like they're being appreciated for the support and time that they have spent in the game. It's just a nice thing to do. It doesn't require any additional effort or money, it's just an event to celebrate the anniversary. Even simply acknowledging the fact the game is now in year 8 is already a step in the right direction. And looking back at previous years, the trend doesn't seem to be getting much better. During its second anniversary, nothing. Third anniversary, nothing. The fourth anniversary, ah, here's 400k. The fifth anniversary, nothing. The sixth anniversary, which was last year, oh hey, by the way, here's 1 million dollars. But arguably the best one that they ever did was the first anniversary of GTA Online. Rockstar laid it all out for us. How many vehicles were owned, weapons were used, and statmatics were taken. A sizable overview of all the top cars, guns, and more. It was super cool to see how far the game did become in the first year. I always felt that it was a wasted opportunity to not continue this trend, because it is very interesting to see this type of stuff. Hell, for the 5th anniversary, it would have been really nice and interesting to have, because I'm sure many of us are wondering about those stats. Because I'm really curious what supercar, for example, is being bought the most. Is it being based on people testing at the airport, or based on that uh, funniest looking English racing driver? Like I said before, to me it's not about the money per se. I would have just really liked it if they did some discounts on launch vehicles, throw in some double cash on some original Rockstar races or death matches, and just give a reason to go back to old content for a bit to relieve some memories or show the newer crowd what us longtime GT Online players started out with before the businesses and the heist. Even better would have been if they would have throw up some double cash on the original heist. It won't pay as good as the casino heist or all the other great ways of making money these days, but it would give people an incentive to revisit some of these old, lesser played modes. Hell, go super old school and make a rockstar playlist with the greatest hits kind of stuff. Because for those who don't know, they used to do this just having a rockstar playlist and then say, okay, these are like four jobs or whatever, and this is double cash. It wasn't the greatest thing for making money, but it was a good incentive back in the day to go out there and try out some of the new maps. We just really just want, just, we just want something, like, anything that makes us feel like we're being appreciated. Especially when we haven't had a DLC for almost a year now. Yeah, Los Santos Summer Update Special the Extravaganza, here's 15 cars and enjoy, does count, but let's be honest here, it was hardly going to make anyone stay longer than a week or two. And while I understand the circumstances and everything because of that and the reason why the DLC came out, it's especially a little bit difficult to try to keep people interested in the game when they have dumped all the cars into us in one go. And I feel in a way that it really has hurt the game in the long term because people are not going to come back every week to check out the new car, buy it maybe, have a look into it, drive it around for a bit and see if there's anything new going on in the game because all the DLC at this point has already been released and there's not really any sort of reason to go back other than Oh, there's double cash in bunker, let me go sit AFK for the rest of the week. GTA Online still has a long road ahead of it, with the highest DLC coming in December and the next gen versions coming in 2021 as well, there's no signs of this game slowing down anytime soon. So at the very least, it'd be nice to see Rockstar
youngsters show a little bit more care for their biggest fan base. But you know who also isn't slowing down anytime soon? Chloe Wade and their pursuit for RP. Join her and all the other fellow members by clicking the join button down below. But with all that said and with all that done, that was it for this one. Of course, I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. I'm sure this comment section is going to be quite spicy. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.